Your bullet journal doesn't have to be boring for it to be functional, but it also doesn't have to take you three business days to decorate it for it to be fun either. I've been working on finding fun and easy ways to make my bullet journal more engaging and easier to use, and that's what we'll be doing today. Last month, my bullet journal spreads were elaborate, and while super aesthetic, they did take a lot of time to make. This month, I got rid of the detail and opted for a more abstract look. Starting off with my color page, I'm going to be illustrating ocean waves with some brush markers. I've lined my page for where I want the first lines to go, and then I'll let the brush marker tell me how thick or thin the lines will be. I'm using washi tape to make sure that I have a nice delineated box for my color page, and I'll be writing the month under the rectangle afterwards. I've picked about eight shades of blue for this, ranging from the navy blues to the more turquoise colors that I associate with the ocean. I start from the penciled lines and then slowly fill in the blank spaces until only small bits remain. small bits, I colour them completely in with one colour. I think it adds a bit of dimension while also saving me some time. A cover page with more abstract art is fun to do because it doesn't have to look realistic for you to recognise what it is. It's quick and easy to do. <laughs> With one of the brush pens, I write March down the bottom and then move on to my monthly spreads. I'm going for an easy vertical monthly log this month because I can't be bothered to draw the lines for a calendar. And also space-wise, this will make sense in just a moment. We are also scaling down the amount of work needed to create bullet journal spreads, but keeping them useful. Next up, I'm cutting out my tabs because as I mentioned, it's easy to elevate your bullet journal without doing too much. And this is one of those ideas. As my theme is an abstract ocean wave one, it would make sense to have wavy tabs. With a pencil, I trace out where I want my waves to go and maybe I could have done them a bit nicer, but ocean waves are unpredictable anyway. I think this turns out a really, really nice, smooth little waves that are all slightly different and they all cascade really nicely. As I was cutting out my last tab, however, I realized that I had accidentally cut two pages instead of one. Luckily, I hadn't been pressing too hard, so that page is still usable and I don't think the cutout is going to fall away from the page, hopefully. Otherwise, I'll just have to tape the back of the page, I suppose. My next idea is to color in the tabs and so using my technique from the cover page, but using the edge of the page for the first line, I use my markers to create the illusion of waves. I tried to differentiate the edge colors as much as possible since the tabs are different and I want it to be somewhat obvious that they are different and you'll see this in a moment. This contrasts with a theme I did two years ago in August where I painted florals all over my tabs as if I was painting a single image but over multiple pages and honestly when I think about it that was kind of a sick theme. Here's a picture and the link to see that video if you're interested. There's something very therapeutic about this theme. I think it's the ease of just drawing lines with a brush pen. It doesn't matter if the lines are wonky or weird because it all comes together nicely. It's also a fast process, which I very much appreciate. You can definitely make this faster by choosing to have a less blues because then you're alternating the colors less and it could go just a little bit faster. I write the words monthly log along the top of the wave and then highlight my weekends with a Crayola. Fun fact about March, but it is my birth month. I'm turning 26 this year, meaning that I can no longer say that I'm in my early 20s. Honestly though, I feel good about my age these days. I'm embracing the years and generally thriving. On to my habit tracker. I'm cutting out mini calendars for this tracker this month and yes a horizontal or vertical tracker would be faster but I think these are fun and I don't think they take up that much more time Like with my cover page, I've decided to use some washi tape so I don't go over my habit trackers. Now to save time, you should just ditch the tape, but I thought it would be nice to have that clear delineation again. Another time saving element here was to make the individual lines wider, and I think it still has the same effect, so really nice. <laughs>
spread, I'm doing something new. Although technically something similar every single March. This is my third consecutive year of swimming laps to raise money for youth mental health in Australia. Each year I keep upping the kilometers I swim over the duration of a month. In my first year, I swam 20 kilometers. In my second year, I did 31 kilometers. And this year I'll be swimming 50 kilometers. This also leads me to plug my big project that I'm working on. I will be swimming the English Channel in August 2025. For those who don't know, the English Channel is 34 kilometers at its narrowest crossing. Fewer people have swum the English Channel than have climbed Mount Everest, but obviously that's because more people walk and hike than swim. The water temperature is expected to be around 16 to 17 degrees Celsius. Now, I'm not a professional swimmer by any means, and this challenge has stemmed from a conversation I had with the lady at the pool back in 2022, but I'm training hard for this and I'm trying to train more and more. I probably can cross in less than 20 hours, but I guess we'll find out. What does this mean for this channel? Well, it means that I'll probably be less and less present as the year goes by. I'll start talking more and more about the preparation for the swim and if that's something you'd like to hear more of on this channel let me know. But it will be snippets within my bullet journaling videos so don't worry. Back to my fundraiser. I'm also trying to raise 750 Australian dollars this year for youth mental health in Australia and if you'd like to donate you can do so by clicking the link in the card or the description down below. Youth mental health is something I'm passionate about and having suffered from anxiety when I was younger, less so now, I can think of no better cause than to provide health to young people out there, especially in a society where Gen Z are reporting the highest levels of isolation and also the highest levels of social media presence. I think that's pretty telling. I hope that bullet journaling can provide you with a sense of peace and help you organize even the slightest bit of chaos you may be experiencing in your life as well. So yeah, if you're interested in donating, click the link. My second last monthly spread for March is my daily routine and monthly review pages. I'm leaving the routine blank for the moment because I filmed this video midway through February when I had no clue what my routine would look like in March, considering how much I need to swim. I think I can get maybe four to five kilometer swims in on Mondays and Tuesdays, and then maybe two to three kilometer swims on Thursdays and Friday, but we will see. <laughs> For my monthly review, I made the tiniest of mistakes. I wrote YouTube too close to the edge of the page, meaning that when you close the previous tab, you see the word YouTube. This isn't great though, since I want the tabs to have color on them and no white space, because that's what waves look like. But don't fret, it's not a big deal. I went over it and wrote YouTube closer to the word Instagram. By the way, I write these two here just so that I can see my following at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month. us to my weekly spreads. I'm leaving it blank for some good old rolling weekly spreads, which really complements the idea of making bullet journaling easy and fun to do. have it. A relatively simple bullet journal idea to elevate your experience in the Bujo world while also keeping it efficient and useful. I will say that I didn't include a content calendar this month, but I think I'll be using Notion for that because I can't be bothered to include it on paper anymore since I change my tune every other day. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're looking for more simple themes, you can check out my minimal bullet journal series right over here. Mm -hmm.